I never forget that. Do you believe I am who I say I am? Do you? And I remember at the time, every area of my life was horrible. My, my job was bad. Things at the church were bad. Things at home were bad. Every area of my life was a fiasco. And I'll tell you the truth, it didn't seem like God loved me. You know, I, I kept thinking he was going to ride in on a white horse and fix it. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, he didn't. He wanted me to get the truth. And no matter how much I whined, God did not get off the throne and come and help me. Because he was trying to get me to see the truth. God does not operate based on sympathy. And he, does, he didn't operate on my pity party. He wasn't moving on pity party. He wasn't moving. He loves me, and I know that he loves me, but he made it pretty plain. I ain't doing that. My ways are higher than your ways. Amen. I have a system that works. You want to work it? Work the system. I ain't changing my system because you're pathetic. <laughs> now, don't let me put words in God's mouth, but that's how it was for me. I was a whiner. I was in a pity party, and I just thought God ought to do it for me because he loved me, and I was so pathetic. Well, that is not faith, and that is not what the Word of God says. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. And I got, you're never supposed to do this, you're not supposed to do this, but I got mad at God. Real mad. <laughs> you're not supposed to do this. Don't do this. Do not try this at home. And I said, God, I understand there's supposed to be trials, but how many years? Are we going to go on like this? You know, I'm thinking I'm thinking the ball is in his court. First I blamed the devil. Then I blamed God. Guess what? <laughs> it was me. <laughs> and God spoke to me. He said, you've said something harsh to me today. Now I'm going to say something harsh to you. He wasn't mad at me. And he still loved me and I knew it. But remember that God chastens those that he loves. Amen. For their sake. For their sake. He wanted me to have the truth. He wanted me to walk in the truth so that I would never know failure like that again. I was the cause of most of my own failure. Did I couldn't see his system. I couldn't see his plan. I couldn't I didn't I didn't get it. Having it preached to me every Sunday, still didn't get it. Didn't get it. God said to me, There's something you need to get. And when you get it, we'll go on. And until you get it, we will not go on. And I knew, don't ask me how I knew, but I knew he was saying it was about faith. He was saying to me this, do you believe I am who I say I am? Amen. Everything in your life says that I'm not like that. Everything in your life says that I'm not coming through, I'm not keeping my promise, and I don't love you. But do you believe I am who I say I am? I said, God, if it's the last thing I do, I'm going to get this thing about faith. I'm going to get it. I'm going to choose to believe your word. I don't care what it looks like. I'm going to choose to believe what the Bible says. I don't care what the circumstance looks like. If I look at that wall and it looks gold to me and your word says it's red, it's red. That's it. I, you're going to teach me this and I'm going to get it. And I began to watch my life turn around. Amen to that. I began to watch. didn't happen overnight. But God began to teach me how to walk according to his system, his covenant, his plan, his faith. And when I got that, which I'm still getting it, I'm still learning, so I learned, first of all, the ball was in my court, not his. Mm -hmm. And that he was looking for something from me. And when I committed, I don't care what it looks like, I'm going to choose to believe you. I choose to believe that you are absolute true. You, your word says you can't lie. You can't lie. Amen. Praise God. And therefore, I know that no matter what it looks like, you are going to come through for me. I know that all things work together for good to them that love God and are called according to his purpose. So you're going to take every rotten thing that ever happened to me and you're going to turn it into something good. And he did. And everything the enemy stole from me, God restored double, just like in Job. Amen. Double, 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 double. Even though I wasn't a very good person in it. I didn't handle it so great. None of us really do, honestly. We don't. Let's get real. Let's be real with each other. 
but God restored, though I did not deserve, and gave me truth. God is going to take those areas of your life that are not good right now. If you will take them to take them to him. If you don't I'm telling you, if you don't work the system though, you can sit there for a lot of years like I did. I believe I could have shortened my trials. If I would have understood sooner how to believe him, how to trust him, I could have shortened my trials. But no, I wanted to whine for a couple of more years. Hello. So what I'm saying to you is he has a way that's higher than our way. And if we will learn, my, my old pastor used to say, it sounded like a strange thing to me, he used to say the word will work if you work it. That didn't make no sense to me. But do you know that when I got in trouble, you know what the Holy Ghost said to me? He could have quoted a hundred scriptures to me and he said the word will work if you work it. Amen to that. That's what the Holy Ghost said to me. Quoted my pastor. What's that about? <laughs> <laughs> the word will work if you work it. That's what the Holy Spirit said to me and I began to say, you're right. I'm going to take the scriptures and I'm going to stand on them like they were intended to be. I'm going to use them as a sword like they were intended to be. I'm going to make them the stronghold of my life like they were intended to be. And I'll tell you, I began to see some things change. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You, Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Amen.